Well, it probably started around about eight months ago when I met a young girl, a young lady, who had graduated with first class degree in computing and she was autistic and had been trying for years to find work. And that just seemed to me in this buoyant economy that we have in Cambridgeshire just wrong. And being a member of the Work and Pensions Committee, we've also been looking at people who struggle to find work. And it just struck me that there was this incredible opportunity here to try and change the opinions of employers to get them to think more about who they're employing. Work and Pensions is one of the select committees. Every government department has a select committee that analyses the work of government in that area. And we um, have pretty much free reign to look at anything that the work, Department of Work and Pensions does. So we've been looking at the job centre, the role of the work programme, and that's where I started to sort of establish some of my ideas about disability and how we could improve the rates of employment. And you're absolutely right, we provide reports, we take evidence, and we put those to the Secretary of State, and hopefully that will affect change. So we've got a real mix of um, stall holders here, and that was a deliberate thing. We've got some of the national charities, people like Leonard Cheshire and the National Autistic Society. We've got the Department of Work and Pensions, but we've also got local and smaller organisations, so small um, local charities that work with people with mental health issues, for example, and representatives from our local job centre and Remploy. And the idea of today is we've invited employers to come along and ask all their dumb questions, really, all the things that they're scared about, don't know the answer to, from people who have expertise in helping disabled people into work. And the feedback that they're getting is that employers are really interested, they're hungry for it, and they want to know what simple things they can do. And they've had some practical questions. I've got a member of staff who has um, some health conditions. How do I keep them in work? So it's been really great for contacts. But for me, what I want to do now is turn today's event into job offers. So I want to have a follow-up event where we bring those employers back who've signed up and said, yep, I'll have a go at this with disabled job hunters. And that, for me, is the um, absolute dream, is to get some job offers on the table. Absolutely. So she, we, we were doing this um, blindfolded sport where as a team we were listening to our instructor and working together to form um, the shape of a letter. So step to the left, step to the right. And when I was the instructor, I was trying to form the letter S and was sort of nudging people around. And um, Georgie said at the last minute, well, everybody needs to be on the ground to, to complete the task. So I asked everybody to, um, to sit down. And it didn't occur to me to ask Andy... To who's in a wheelchair if he could. Now I think I'm probably right in saying that Andy can't because we had a conversation earlier but I didn't even ask him. So that was um, a little bit embarrassing but a real learning thing for me and that just shows the kind of barrier that employers have. They don't know what they can and can't ask and for many, particularly small businesses, that's enough for them to go actually you know what, this is too difficult. Absolutely. And that's what today is about. You know, people talk about networking and it's quite a loose word, but today it really has been that. Because these employers now know there are organisations out there where no question is too stupid or too embarrassing and the advice and the guidance is there for them. You know, people in Cambridge are great at networking, so now they've got these contacts so that they can be more disability confident. Yeah, we, you are so right. We should be a shining example. With our buoyant economy, with the jobs that we're creating, you know, okay, some of the transport issues are more challenging in rural parts of Cambridgeshire, but, you know, the city deal hopefully will look to improve some of that. If we can't do it here and find jobs for these talented individuals, then we can't do it anywhere. And that's partly what I want to do today. I'd love for us to create the role model example of how to do this, and then I'm going to put it to central government and say we need to replicate this in the rest of the country. I think what I've learned is, and particularly talking to Georgie today, that you know all, all councils know they need to include accessibility in everything they do. But sometimes, again, a bit like employees, we're a bit scared. We don't actually know how to do that. So when Georgie was challenging me on, well, why don't all buses have um, radios on to tell people the names and stops in you know, the technology, I said, well, bus companies have to invest. Put a microphone for the driver. How easy is that? So you know, what we need to do is break down those barriers People making decisions about transport, whether it's the councils or central government, need to talk to people with disabilities that understand how 
simply things can be fixed. It doesn't always have to be costly, it doesn't always take massive amounts of investment, and we need to be smart. And again, this is the place in the world to do that, isn't it? To be smart and come up with creative ideas that don't cost the earth and could transform the accessibility for you know, thousands of, uh, of individuals. Well, first and foremost, people are always welcome to contact me directly, Twitter, HeidiAllen75, or email heidi.allen.mp at parliament.uk. But one of the things I want to do out of today is I would love, if it's possible, to create a website portal for all the information, all the advice, all the organisations that are here, possibly host it as an extension to my own website, so that if you've got questions or you have issues or you need to know about access to work, how can I get to a new job, all that information will be held centrally there. And I've spoken to some ladies from the County Council and they're quite keen to try and work with me on that. So if it's an individual query, come to me, but watch this space because I'm hoping we'll have a website that draws all of this together. Howdy. Thank you very much. That's brilliant. Thanks, Thank Anthony. You.